We're down here at Live Oak Plantation in Adel, Georgia. My name is Ryan Lambert and I want to introduce you to the new Native Titan. Last year, Native tapped me to be on the design team with a few other members of our pro staff to kind of bounce ideas off each other and design the ultimate bass boat is what we called it. It is everything that I dreamed of and more. Uh, I, I can't tell you uh, how surprised I was at the stability. You can stand on one side of the boat and step off onto a dock, step off on the bank. Uh, you can lay the seat back and fish off the, the rear of the boat. Uh, it turns on a dime. Uh, the boat is really quick. We have two micro power poles on the back on each side. You drop those and it is, it's like fishing off a dock. That's how stable the boat is. Two, two things that we wanted to work into this boat to really set it apart. Um, one of the things was the open hull front to back. And we did that by giving you uh, storage underneath the seat. So you can keep all your Plano boxes and your, your soft bags of tackle. Uh, what that does is keep you from having to have a crate or anything behind you and rods sticking up. Well, how do we keep you from having rods sticking up? What do you do with them? We incorporated horizontal rod storage. So we have four horizontal rod storage areas. We have a huge hatch for dry storage. It also has a removable bucket where you can access the inside of the hull for storage or for wiring options. This boat has gear tracks from front to back. So when I'm not tournament fishing, I like to take my little girl out fishing on the weekends. And the thing I like about this boat and that she's gonna love is it has rails going all the way to the back so I can mount another full size seat behind me so she can fish off the back of the boat while I'm fishing off the front. We've incorporated seven grab handles. Two in the rear, four in the middle, and one in the front. Boondocks landing gear, which makes it really easy to load and unload the boat. You can slide it straight in the water, flip the wheels up when you get in the water, and you are good to go. So one of my favorite features of this boat is the seat height. Not only does it give you ample room for storage underneath, but it also makes it easier to stand up while fishing. Another good feature about the boat is the recessed transducer mount, which fits my Dragonfly 7 transducer and it allows me to run the wiring up through the trunk so there's no drilling required. In this boat, we've incorporated two paddle holders on each side that allow you to take your paddle in half and store it out of the way. So I've never fished with a trolling motor on a kayak before. I've always had just the propel drive. Well, with our transom mount, this offers you the ability to just buy an off-the-shelf you know, trolling motor and bolt onto the transom mount, and you're good to go without breaking the bank. It doesn't require any kind of specialty motor, and also with the trolling motor, you're able to adjust the direction that you're going instead of just forward and, say, float an entire bank, fishing the entire way while you're moving without having to make any adjustments. So one thing you'll notice about this boat, the inside is white. And the reason it's white is because during the molding process, it was made with foam injection. What that does is it makes the hull super stiff. There's no flex in this hull. Also what it does is it adds a safety feature. If you completely swamp this boat, it's foam from one end to the other, so it's still gonna float. This is the ultimate bass fishing, big water rig. It is a great, stable platform to fish off of all day.